As uh, we discussed in the blog, we won't be using run server in production. Instead, we will be using some sort of WSGI server that's built for production. And uh, for this tutorial, we'll be using Unicorn, or as I'm just going to call it, Unicorn, because it's easier to say. Um, there are other options, um, which you could look into later if you wanted to. So installing Unicorn is pretty easy. You just add it to your requirements.txt because it can be installed as a Python package. So we're just going to install it. As you can see, I've done a bit of work already. Um, by pip installing our requirements text file, which now includes Unicorn, you can see it's collecting it and it's successfully installed it, which is nice. And we can then run get command Unicorn, Unicorn. And you can see it's been installed as a executable, which we can run, which is nice. So when we get to the server, we can run Unicorn and it will um, run similar to the way run server does locally. One problem though, it uh, does not work on Windows. So this is a, it's a little bit shitty. Um, it's because Unicorn depends on some features which are present in Linux, but not in Windows. Uh, presumably this module named Fecuntal, or for, yeah, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, we can't test it locally, which is a bit of a bummer because wherever we can, we want to be able to run the same programs on our computer as we do in production. But um, generally, even on a Linux machine, I don't typically run um, Unicorn when doing development. I usually use run server and then deploy to production and run Unicorn there. However, it is nice to test that your deploy is going to work before you actually do the deploy. So it's a little bit of a bummer. Anyway, that aside, I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about how Unicorn accesses our Django program. So usually the syntax to run Unicorn is like this. You say Unicorn, and then you run it with tute.wizgi application. All right, that's the syntax we use. And we usually do it from the tute folder. So, you tute. so what it's doing is it's going into tute. And in tute, there's whiskey. And in whiskey, there's a Python object called application, which we'll look at. So really, we're saying run unicorn, look in tute, in tute, look in whiskey, and in whiskey, look at a Python object called application. And that will be the Python object that runs our Django app. And, uh, Unicorn will take that and use that to run our Django app. Now, there are a bunch of other options that you pass to Unicorn as well, like uh, what port to bind to and the number of workers, but this is the key argument that tells it which application to run. So we will be um, setting it up like this when we get onto the server. So let's take a quick look at this whiskey file. So as I said, inside of the Tute project, inside of the Tute application, there's a file called whiskey, which came pre-packaged with Django. They set it up for us. And in this whiskey file, there's this Python object called application. And this application is our entire Django app. Unicorn uses this to run our whole app. So that's just something to know about why we use that syntax. Cool. So that's it for now. We will do a bit more Unicorn stuff later when we get onto the server, but um, that's all we can do with the limitations we have.